countries. It's not just Canada um, that the situation has involved in different developing countries. 69 containers of rotting Canadian garbage loaded one by one onto a ship in the Philippines is now headed for its final destination, Canada. Signaling the end of a diplomatic dust-up with the Philippines over unwanted Canadian trash and serving as a broader lesson for the world, developing nations do not want rich countries' waste. A reality Canada's environment minister has acknowledged. Hundreds of containers labeled as plastics for recycling were dumped on the Philippines by a private company in 2013 and 2014. But they couldn't be recycled because they were actually bursting with waste from Canadian trash bins. For years, the Philippines asked Canada to repatriate its festering garbage. Catherine McKenna says the situation has created an opportunity for Canada to tackle its plastics pollution problem. We're taking action to tackle plastic pollution. We need to do that. Uh, we have too much plastic pollution. Unfortunately, we're only recycling around 9% uh, of our plastics. And that's a huge loss because there's also economic value to plastics that so we're literally throwing in the garbage, 120 to $150 billion in value. We can do a lot better. The federal government says it has issued no permits for Canadian companies to ship trash overseas since changing regulations in 2016 that would prevent it. But our rubbish still ends up on the shores of unsuspecting Asian nations. McKenna says she intends to unveil a strategy soon to get to the root of the problem. We've been working on our zero waste strategy with provinces and territories and very shortly we'll be announcing next steps that the federal government will be take, taking to tackle plastic pollution. But Ottawa has so far not supported a full ban on the dumping of hazardous waste in developing countries. The Canadian garbage on its way from the Philippines makes a stopover in China today before the 20-day journey to Vancouver. It comes at a reported cost of about $200,000, which the Philippines says Canada has agreed to take over.